What's her name? Lucy. Lucy. We have here Lucy, who is um, clearly neurological on the hind legs. Ten years old. And she's ten year old boxer, and she's here for an exam. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through a uh, neurological exam as the vet would do in practice. So the first thing we want to do, you can tell that she's weak on her hind legs. So you just kind of want to observe. As she came out of her kennel, we saw that she was having trouble placing her feet. Um, it looks like weakness, uh, but at the same time, it looks like she's wobbling. So that's different than musculoskeletal. When she's wobbling like that, it's almost like she doesn't know where her hind leg is. So that's a clue that it's neurological. So let's start with her front legs. So if you want to come around here. So the first thing we do is something called knuckling. We try to put her place her knuckles on the ground and she should fix it immediately. And you can see she's barely even letting me do it. So her front legs have good knuckling reflex. It's a postural reflex that they don't like to be on their knuckles, so they like to fix it right away. And you can see that on her front legs, everything's working properly. Now let's try knuckling on her back legs. So here's her right. I do support her belly a little bit so she doesn't fall. And I knuckle it, and you can see that she's leaving it knuckled, and then it's a delayed response. Let me do it again. And, oh, there. So it took a while, right? So that means it's taking a long time for the signal to get up to her brain, tell her that she has a postural deficit in the back, and then come back down and, re and, 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 and re replace the, the paw. So let's do this side. Same sort of delay. It's not immediate. She knows it's happening, but look, on that one, she's just leaving it. And she tried to fix it, and she didn't even know she hasn't fixed it yet. Okay? She still hasn't fixed it. So it's worse on the left. And sometimes you'll see that, or it's worse on one side than the other. So what this is telling me is that she likely has a lesion somewhere in her thoracic lumbar area that's affecting her hind legs, but it's not far up enough to affect her, her front limbs, um, and that's causing some of these postural deficits. Another one that we do is hopping. So I lift her other leg, and I drag her leg. Now see how that hop? That should hop properly, and so she's hopping properly. That's good. Now I'll do it the other way. She is hopping pretty good, so that's, that's good. She knows that she needs to do that. Now the last thing we're going to do is her reflexes. So if you want to help me get it on her side. Okay. Good girl. Legs towards you. Good girl. Oh, she's a good girl. Good girl. So if you want to come over here and switch. So now we're going to check her reflexes on her hind legs. I've got the reflex hammer here. First one is the patellar reflex. It's reduced, so what we should see is a kick that is a little bit more exaggerated than that. We're seeing a reduced kick. Barely even a reflex there. Okay, well, that was more of a normal one, but the majority of them aren't normal. See that? The majority of them are not, ref are not reacting properly. Okay, we can do the gastric reflex, which is here. That one's pretty normal. Okay, but when I do the patellar reflex, reduced. See that there's one more called the tibialis, and it, it, it flexes them at the hop right here, and that one's pretty normal. So, reduced patella reflex, but other ones are normal, very reduced. Okay, so we go ahead and flip. Good girl, patella reflex on this side. Wow, there's nothing there, and this is also the side that we noticed. Um, her knuckling was worse. So this is telling me her lesion is right at the lumbar region that innervates this left side. Okay. With maybe a little bit of the, of the right side affected. But look, no reflex at all. Okay, let's do the tibialis. Reduced on the tibialis. Gastrocnemus. I would argue that's reduced compared to the other side. Okay, so I think we know where her lesion is. Is between L1 and L7 on the left side with a little bit of uh, issue on the right as well.